Hello, uh, today I want to demonstrate how to use Anki uh, and this is one of my most used apps ever uh, this is because of the spaced repetition system which is really really efficient when it comes to learning new words I've used it for years for studying Spanish, French, Portuguese, Hungarian, Russian and now I'm using it to uh, study Czech and uh, I'm gonna first demonstrate on my phone how I use the app because I mostly use the app on the phone, but uh, I add cards and decks using the desktop version. And, and I will uh, demonstrate how to do that afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to use Anki. And you just go to Anki and you choose your deck and you, and you press study. And so you get the card and this is the front side of the card and you have to guess what's on the back side of the card. So this one has a sentence and it has a blanked out word, which is how to say going in Swedish. And in, the, in this case it's åker. And I press show answer to see if I'm right. And åker. So I am correct. If I'm correct, I press the green button. If I'm not correct, I press the red button and it will come again in just one minute. So I was correct. And the next card is is for the uh, how to say the word maybe in Swedish say inte kanske okay you see here it says 10 minutes uh, for the for the good answer and it means that if I'm right it's gonna come in 10 minutes again and this is gonna increase so next time I'm right it's gonna take one day and after that it's gonna take three days and so on uh, so and this is how it works and this is how the algorithm calculates when you're supposed to uh, re rehearse it again and this is where it's really, really efficient. However, uh, I would say that if it says over a month, then I would say that you already learned it well enough and um, you don't want to keep repeating the same word for months and months and years. Um, so what you can do is you could just suspend it and you press the three buttons in the top right corner and you just suspend it. And, uh, and it's going to save you a little bit of time later on. Okay, so to download the app, you first just uh, go to Google, you go like Anki, dow download, and uh, yeah, you just download it here and install it and everything, and then you're going to get to this and you create a user and you have to also create a deck, you create decks down here, and when you have created a deck, for example, here I've uh, created the check uh, like check desktop, you can just add new and just make sure that it's the right uh, deck you're using up here. So for example, say that I'm, because uh, now for example, I'm reading this text and if you're studying Czech, this is a really good website, slow check. Um, so I'm reading a text and there's like a word I don't know, for example, Zaimavi, and then I just yeah, I usually use Wiktionary or, or Google Translate when I look at words and Wiktionary is really good because you can see like declensions and everything and comparative and oh, all the stuff. Sometimes you can also hear how it sounds. Okay, so it means interesting. So I put that word here and I, and I put the translation here and, and then I really want to have a picture of this word so I copy this. And I go to Google image search and uh, pictures are really important because it's going to help you a lot with memorizing words. And, and one other thing that is really good with image search is that you can get like sample phrases, for example, you, you gonna try to find like a, a picture that is, uh, that is funny or interesting or, or like makes you react in some, some way. And for example, this one would be good. I'm gonna choose this one because this one has a, a good, has like a sample phrase here. And I usually save the thumbnail image so it doesn't take take that much space uh, because you don't need that much space on, and you're gonna review these things later anyway. So I save that, and I also save this. Uh, Say, say this uh, like sample text because you always want to have some sample text when you're learning words so you see the word in the context it also helps a lot with uh, memorizing them so I just find the image find the image here and uh, yeah where is it like there are so many words starting with Z in the check it's crazy 
to have it here. And uh, it's actually, if you don't understand all the words in it, you can even put it in Google Translate. And and the, even if the translation is not 100% correct, like mostly they're not 100% correct, but they give you a pretty good, like sometimes, very often they are, they are pretty good. So, but at least you will be able to understand like most of the words, like here you can see like, okay, mo most, that means a bridge and so on. So here you have a pretty decent card. You can even make like a sound recording. You can use your, you can go to Google Translate on your phone and, and uh, like play up the sound while you're recording. It's like it's a little trick like uh, I don't do it so much anymore because it takes time and I already know exactly how how to say check words from the how they're written but uh, it's it's also a really good thing to just just for your memory so this is for understanding words and this is good if you uh, so you can just put one word here but if you want to be able to say say the words like for example if if you're learning Swedish and you want to say like oh that's interesting. So you can put that phrase here. Always use short phrases and single words. Like don't make complicated cards. Like when you sit down and, and rehearse Anki, you don't want it to be taking a lot of effort and a lot of time. Because you, wanna, you want to do this in your dead time. Like when you're standing in line, when you're waiting for something. And uh, it's like every time you're procrastinating, <laughs> <laughs> it's like just use Anki in first, like finish your Anki time first before you start using Tinder or Instagram or whatever you do. And uh, that's why you want to make like simple cards so that are not hard to like go through. So for example, that's interesting. They are interessant. So that's a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good word, pretty good card. Like you obviously you can put it's, it's much better if you also put some some images here. Like what? What looks interesting here to you? Like that that cat looking out on the on the window here, that looks pretty interesting to me. So you can just save that, uh, save the thumbnail better, and you can put that here, and and uh, that's gonna be a pretty decent decent card. And uh, but yeah, don't put that on your check <laughs> deck, obviously. Like. Okay, so how to get this onto your phone? Uh, so what I usually do is I use Dropbox. So you uh, you put, press File, Export, and you choose the deck that you uh, that you want to export. Don't export all decks and include all the scheduling information and the media, so of course. Like don't and uh, and you press Export. And uh, here, I, I all, you can just overwrite this file. Like if you have the same file, and I use, this is like a Dropbox folder. And so I save that there and I overwrite it. And uh, so the, all the cards are exported. And then I can open that in my phone. I will show you how to do that. And I'm gonna show you how to import using Dropbox. So just go to Dropbox, go to the folder you put it in. And then you just open it. You just press it and you open it. And it's going to ask you if you want to import the deck into Anki. You just press add and it's importing. And it's uh, now I just imported it, imported it. So it's going to be zero cards, cards imported. Um, but that's how you do it. And now your, your deck is, uh, is up, up to date and uh, you can study it. And you see here I use image. This is how I create my, my check card. I try to use an image, I try to use a sample phrase. And I also uh, like added some, some extra words there to understand the sample phrase. And also I, do, I just want to <laughs> tell you some extra tips uh, for how to do this good and efficiently. And, and one thing is like don't over use Anki like some people including me get obsessed with this and and I was for example when I was learning Hungarian I was sitting with Anki creating cards and repeating cards for like hours every day and it wasn't like it wasn't very efficient because that was a big part like a way too big part of my what I used for studying so it's much better to use many different resources many different tools and uh, so so don't put like all cards in Anki. Don't uh, like set uh, set it to show you twenty new cards every day. 
like if you're spending an hour on on uh, on Anki every day, like you you should try to you know diversify your ways of studying a little bit. And another thing is to do it every day. Like this is supposed to be something that is simple to do, and but it, and it's really efficient when you do it every day. So don't try to miss days, and that's also a reason to do simple cards and not too many cards because you don't wanna feel like it's oh it's like oh I have to do all the Anki no. Like, or 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 just like at least do ten minutes. You don't have to like finish it all every day, but uh, do at least ten minutes every day. And and as I said, you can do it when you're like waiting for things and when you have some dead time. And that's it. Like that's all I wanted to show you today. And uh, if you have questions, please let please let me know. There are so much stuff to read about Anki. I'm gonna link to a page where you can read much more about how to do this. And it takes it takes some time, but it's really really efficient. Uh, that, that's all. <laughs> Thank you.